time for Health Matters. So let's welcome Shine to our listeners. Good morning. How are you? I feel great. It's, uh-huh. it's a little bit colder outside. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was really hoping that like this warmer weather would last and like, uh, you know, spring would come real soon, but apparently not. Mother mm-hmm. Nature has a whole different agenda. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, so how was your week? How was your weekend? Uh, did you enjoy your hot holiday? Oh, yeah, I ate a lot during the solar <laughs> break with Who my didn't? family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but on Wednesday morning, before that solar break end, I threw uh, uh, an hour and a half long special boot camp for all my clients. Oh, are you serious? On a Wednesday? So that was still like uh, an official holiday, right? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So what exactly did you do for two hours? So we did like uh, 40 minutes of full body high intensity interval training mm-hmm. and another, another 40 minutes of like running outside. Yes. We, we ran from like maybe 5K to 7K Ooh. and came back to the studio and did some like cool down and stretching. Mm-hmm. So it was lots of sweat, lots of fun, and lots of soreness for the next couple of days. <laughs> right. But I think that a lot of people, like, uh, during the lunar, any type of holiday, you know, mm. you tend to kind of eat a lot. I was so careful <laughs> uh, doing the lunar near holiday. I mean, uh, I usually don't weigh myself every day, but I did during that weekend because it was like five days. I didn't want to, like, go overboard. So I was able to maintain my weight. So I was so happy. But anyhow, I hear you have a, a very special topic for today. Mm-hmm. So today is a special day for me. Oh, why, why, why? It's my one-year anniversary taking over this segment. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, last <laughs> year, so February 16th, uh-huh. uh, I had my first topic about Seollal. Okay. And ever since then, I have continued sharing latest health matters and fitness tips with you and all of our BFM listeners. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it's been a year already. Mm, mm. Time flies. Yes. <laughs> so to, to celebrate this day, I would like to share my fitness journey and my fitness philosophy to inspire our listeners. Mm-hmm. To do this, I have answered some of the frequently asked questions from my clients sure and if you want to ask me any questions um, send it through Kakao or post it on a message board mm-hmm. and I'll try to answer them today oh yeah and not just that like um, if you send in your messages and like uh, they get to us a little bit later but maybe uh, Shine can cover it as a topic in the future too in yeah. case she doesn't have time to answer all your questions today mm-hmm. so um, let's go th- through some of the most uh, frequently asked questions from your clients uh, I hear like the one of the most common one is uh, how did you become a fitness trainer right yeah so it was in the USA mm-hmm. in 2008, about eight years ago already. Uh-huh. <laughs> During my second year in college, I went to Maryland, mm-hmm. uh, the States, to study English. Okay. Um, but my life was not like how I expected. Mm. I was uh, studying, working. I was pretty busy. But at the same time, I was very lonely because uh. I was there all by myself. Mm-hmm. and was boring and... I just kept eating and I gained weight. Mm. <laughs> so that's how I started exercising at a gym near my place. Uh, but after about three months of just doing cardio by mm. myself, because I didn't know any better. Yes. Um, I started weight training with a personal trainer because mm-hmm. he approached to me like, why are, just, why are you just doing cardio? <laughs> or are you just running? <laughs> and I'm like, I just don't want to get gain like muscles Mm. and he's like no you can't you don't like you don't gain muscle like that Mm. so why don't you try training with me so i gave it a shot and he trained me for about six months oh but that six months was the hardest six months of my life because we trained about five days a week wow and i i really like uh, came to like it so I studied for another six months to get a personal trainer certification oh so that's how you got started it was like all about you kind of going to the states to study and gaining weight mm. which often happens when you're away from home right yeah mm, okay interesting so uh, what was the most difficult part of that one year uh, during uh, that training period well like like I said initially I started exercising to lose weight Mm-hmm. And I did lose weight mm. and saw like a difference in my body. Sure. But after a while, maybe I guess after about, you know, six, seven months, I felt so frustrated because I didn't see the continual progress. Ah. So I complained to my trainer saying, 
hey, I exercise like so much, two hours a day, five days a week, mm -hmm. and I work so hard, but some of my friends who don't exercise at all mm -hmm. look better than me. They're oh. slimmer. Mm -hmm. They look just like better. Mm. So I felt like I, w I was wasting my time. Ah. at the gym mm -hmm. and I think I was looking for the reward from how other people saw me yes and that was one of the hardest thing to overcome right because I was thinking about uh, what you were saying um, as you were saying it and then um, you know some people naturally I think are just kind of leaner mm -hmm. and like you know skinnier <laughs> just naturally you know like the, that's their metabolism in their body so i know what you mean by uh, especially like for women i think for females like we tend to kind of compare our bodies like yeah our thighs are skinnier than mine and i just did like four hours or whatever or you know what i'm saying yeah. or like she has she has she's more defined and she doesn't really exercise so i can totally see that yeah so over time mm -hmm. i realized that the reward of all the hard work was in me mm. so i became stronger healthier more positive confident and all that mm -hmm. so now i see the reward in me ah. and i don't compare myself to others anymore yeah yeah it's once you start comparing yourself to others it's like a slippery slope i mean there's just no end in sight mm -hmm. well when did you start training in busan uh it was in 2013 right after college mm -hmm. i started working at a personal training studio in busan okay i learned a lot by training many many clients from teenagers to 60 years old mm. and i was able to learn about different body types and their different personalities yes but about after about a year of working there i realized that i didn't quite agree with the way we were marketing the fitness industry oh really so what did you see was in your opinion like wrong with the industry uh yes by the way i'd like to make sure this is just my personal opinion okay so all of the trainers and i mm -hmm. took a body profile pictures ah. and used the pictures to advertise the business mm -hmm. as if the, the pictures were the ideal body image mm. but they were not oh yeah like i went through the preparation of making the body oh yeah you were telling me how difficult yeah, it was right it was it wasn't healthy mm. to make the body and it wasn't sustainable ah. and like it's it's like everyone else that made the body profile picture mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so also I, instead of inspiring our clients to change their lifestyle to be healthier yes we had to like encourage them to pay more sessions saying that they weren't like perfect enough or they ah. they are they you have need more work to be to yeah, yeah yeah I see. so i personally believe that everyone is made differently mm -hmm. and my job as a trainer is to inspire people to be the best version of how they're made to be ah. and not to be like somebody yeah, because when you think about it, we're very unique in our makeup, meaning our what our, our bodies are like, our metabolism, genetics, mm -hmm. and then how we eat. Uh, we're all very, very different. So, so what exactly happened? So I quit, ah. and ever since then, I have been working independently. Mm -hmm. So currently, I work mainly in Hyundai area. Okay, I'm, I'm just like uh, offering some personal training or group training, and I also offer some fun Zumba fitness. Uh -huh. <laughs> so if you'd like to know more about it, find it my pay Facebook page okay. by searching Shine Kim Fitness. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I don't know. There's, I'm sure, a lot of questions that people might have. But of course, uh, we're going to uh, try to get those questions gathered and then send them to you later. But in the meantime, um, I don't know. Like, I have a question. Like, sometimes, mm -hmm. like, um, I start, like, a new fitness thing. Mm -hmm. uh, lately, I've been doing ballet. But, you know, sometimes it gets kind of, not ballet itself, but uh, other types of exercises. Like, that might get kind of, like, boring. So how do you keep it, like, interesting all the time? Um, I personally have, like, a performance-based goal. Mm. So, for example, I just made my New Year's Day resolution to run a half marathon. Okay. Or you can, like, make... A goal you you know you made a goal to make two ballet classes in a row yes or uh, I, I just like to learn different exercises mm -hmm. and then like achieve different goals mm. so if you find it boring mm -hmm. to like keep a fitness routine maybe sure you can change it up okay and try other things or try to achieve like a specific goal with mm -hmm. your friends mm. I think this this is the way I make fitness interesting mm -hmm. and I'm able to keep it up. 
Mm. Well, um, I have another question uh, that I was thinking about. Like, um, how do you like keep up with it? I mean, don't you have days where you just don't want to exercise? I mean, because it, uh, when I see all these like fit trainers, and as you said, you see the, their profile shots like on the big advertisement, the banners they have in front of the gyms and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I wonder, like, do they ever have days where they just don't want to get out of bed and they just sometimes don't want to, you know, go to the gym and to sweat and things like that? Do you ever have those days? Of course, <laughs> I'm a human being. I think I get this like re- pretty regularly. Uh, I I, ha- I surely have like one day a week, mm-hmm. just like complete day off. Uh, okay. So the the most active thing I would do is to walk my dog. Mm-hmm. And I think this is very um, important mm-hmm. to have a regular days off so okay. you're not burnt out. Mm, okay. So uh, if you are kind of like pressured to always work out and always be active, mm-hmm. Just relax and take a take a day, at least one day off a week. Okay. And then don't feel bad about it. Ah, so we shouldn't feel guilty. Mm-hmm. But those that one day shouldn't lead to two or three or four. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, um, it was great celebrating our winter, your anniversary together for Health Matters. So thank you for bringing uh, such an interesting uh, theme for today. And for our listeners, once again, if you have any health questions or uh, fitness questions, questions send them in we'll afford them to shine and maybe uh, she can talk about it in future episodes but uh thank you we'll talk to you again next week okay bye-bye all right we're going to be back after this song this is piana by uh kai in